So, what would you little maniacs like to do first? Hey everybody, it's Beth. Welcome back to the channel. So, we're going to be flipping through some of my um, movie ticket stubs that I saved back in the day, back in high school. So, a lot of these are going to be from about, oh, 96 through 98 or so. Um, I had a affinity for going to the movies quite often back then. You know, it was a lot cheaper. And uh, as soon as I got a car and my own money, I was going to the movies as often as I could go. So sometimes I would go with friends. A lot of times I'd go by myself. So I just thought it would be fun to look through some of these ticket stubs. I saved most of them, I think, from the movies that I saw back then. So um, yeah, let's kind of go through these. Um, so they're really in no particular order, no particular date, but we'll just start over here on the left side and work our way over here. So there's a lot to go through. So this first one is, I wrote on their Titanic, uh, December 20th, 97. So that was the night Titanic uh, premiered in my area. That was a midnight showing. I remember going with a few girlfriends. Um, we went and ate at a restaurant and we were having to call around, you know, using a payphone to see if any theaters had uh, tickets available, space available. So we finally found a theater on the opposite side of town. And so midnight showing front row to see Titanic. Um, I would not do that now because I'm old and my neck would kill me. But <clears throat> as a teenager back in the day, you could handle it, right? So, yeah, 12 20 97 I saw Titanic. $5, if you can see that. The ticket was 5 bucks. Um, the next one is Volcano. So this was uh, April 26th of 97. So that's the, um, what is it, the Tommy Lee Jones, um, Anne Heche, you know, where the volcano comes up through Los Angeles, that movie, you know through the La Brea tar pits and everything. It's really kind of, I watched it not too long ago. I have it on VHS tape and on the back of the VHS, it talks about how they built a almost a scale model of um, Ventura, is it Ventura Boulevard? That, that, that road that they, you know, flood with the lava. So that's pretty cool that they were able to do that back then. Um, I don't know the year, but 321, I saw Liar Liar. Oh, well, see, this one is a different showing. It was 450 for uh, Volcano. Liar Liar, Jim Carrey film, 450. So maybe it was an afternoon showing, I would say, probably. Um, then we go to January of 96, Michael. I had a big thing for John Travolta back then. After Pulp Fiction, you know, he was kind of all the rage. And uh, I had, uh, yeah, a crush on him, I guess I could say. That stemmed from Greece back in the day and Urban Cowboy and, you know, so Saturday Night Fever even, though he's kind of an asshole in that film. But uh, 450 there. This is for Romeo and Juliet. So these tickets didn't have, as you see, these steps will have the name printed on them. It's a different theater chain. So Romeo and Juliet. So the Baz Luhrmann film. Saw that. First Wives Club. I'm sure I went with the girlfriends with that. I don't know why I would go by myself to see that movie. Uh, Fools Rush In. So that's 228 of 97. So that's the Matthew Perry. Um, oh, what's her name? Um, Salma Hayek film. It's pretty cute. Probably haven't seen it since then. 450. One Fine Day. Wow. Um, let's see. 12, 21, 96. So... Yeah, um, Michelle Pfeiffer and uh, what, George Clooney film? Yeah, 350 there. Uh, where was that at? Northtown. Oh, yeah, Northtown Mall. Yeah, that's not even there anymore. Mr. Holland's Opus, 220, 229. Uh, Campbell's 16 Cinema, no longer there, changed to the Alamo Draft House. Um, they used to be a 16 uh, screen theater, and now it's, I think, I think they have 14 screens now. Um, so this was as good as it gets. I loved that movie so much. Was a big fan of Jack Nicholson back then. So 625 for a PM showing. Can you believe that? Wow. <laughs> um, this was for Greece. So I must have saw a, um, a reissue, or not a reissue, but like a, uh, probably the 20, let's see, 98. Yeah, that would have been the, what, 20th, 20th anniversary of Greece coming back in the theater 
So yeah, 625 there, March 27th of 98. I remember going, I think, <laughs> I think I went with a boy to that movie. No, not a boyfriend, but just a friend. But uh, yeah, we went and saw that. And then I saw it again. <laughs> of April 11th of 98, 625. So one of those two probably took a, a, a fella with me. Um, City of Angels, April 18th, 98, $4 cash, 1 p.m. showing there. Good film. Deep Impact, uh, May 10th of 98. That's a p.m. showing, 9.50, late for me back then. <laughs> 625, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Um, here's the second ticket for Titanic. So we have January 17th of 98, 8 p.m. showing, 625. Um, Goodwill Hunting, uh, January 10th of 98, $4 at 1.45 p.m. Great movie there. Um, this is harder to read. Um, Scream 2, Scream 2, okay. Um, December 19th, 1997, 2 p.m., 475. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry about that. It's hard to read those. They're kind of worn out. Uh, Bean. Why? I don't know. Bean. Um, 325, November of 97, 525 p.m. Um, then we have Air Force One, 82297, 8 p.m., 625. Wow double or more now, isn't it? Uh, she's so lovely? Love something? I don't know. She's so lovely. She's so lovely. That one I don't know. Can't think of the can't think of that one. Sorry. If you know it, let me know down below. Um, 97, 325 at 4.30 p.m. Wow. A face-off. There we go. That's a good one. 7, 5, 97. So, went the day after the 4th of July. Four bucks. Batman and Robin. <laughs> Six of 97, four dollars. I went to the movies a lot, guys, a lot. Uh, Men in Black, seven, twelve, ninety-seven. Can summer blockbusters, man, they were amazing back then. 325. Damn. <laughs> the Lost World. May 23rd of 97. 325 dollars. Three. <laughs> Volcano again. I saw it twice. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Five three ninety seven, and then I saw it here a four twenty six. I must have took a friend, or something. Like saw it and had to go again. I don't know. I don't know. Can't explain it. But there, I there there it is. Five six twenty five. Um, this one's really hard to read. In in love, I have no idea. It says in love. Two of 97, four bucks in, I don't know. I don't know what that one was. Um, and this one too, Marvin's Room, Marvin's something. Three of 97, four dollars. No clue. Let me know if you know. Star Wars, this is when they um, re brought back the original Star Wars. So A New Hope, back to the theater. Um, went with a friend. Three of 97 there. And then this one, oh, Avita. Okay, I can read that. Sorry, guys. Avita, uh, January of 97, 625. <laughs> Greece again. <laughs> uh, 12, 12, 96, 325. 10 30 p.m. Um, 12 monkeys. One seven of 96, four bucks. Leaving Las Vegas. Can you tell I had a thing for Nicolas Cage? Still do. <laughs> um, leaving Las Vegas, uh, or January of 96, 325. Um, this is a different theater. I know what you did last summer. So 1030 of 97. That's cool, right? On uh, Halloween. And then we've got just a couple more left here. We have um, Con Air. So this theater in particular, if you can see that there, the palace, it's no longer no longer around. This was kind of our um, second run theater. Like, so, you know, last chance theater, cheap, cheap theater. <laughs> um, Con Air, 
So I saw it at 1.40 p.m. on September of 97 for a buck 50. Buck 50, guys. Can you believe that? I, yeah, I loved the palace. I loved that. Now, I would go to the first run theaters, obviously. Look at this. But for a buck 50, that's cheap, right? Romy and Michelle's high school reunion. Saw that there. 2.20 p.m. Buck 50. 97. July of 97. Great movie. Then we have Reservoir Dogs. This was a midnight showing when they, they used to do like the kind of cult classic midnight showings. So went and saw Reservoir Dogs midnight of 96, November, buck 50. And the last one is The Truth About Cats and Dogs. So the Janine Garofalo, um, Uma Thurman film, July 2nd of 96 for $1.50. There you go. There's a bunch of movies that I saw way back in the day. Too bad they're like, what, 13, 15 bucks now to get into the movies. And then, I don't know, you spend 30, 40 bucks on popcorn and pop. And it's just, it's expensive. No wonder people are choosing to stay home nowadays. But that's a lot of movies that I saw over a few years. And that's probably not all of them. I just don't have, you know, I kept probably most of them. I'm sure I did. So, um... Yeah, there you go, guys. So let me know what, what was your favorite theater-going experience as a youth, as a teenager, or even now as an adult. Have you had a great experience going to the movies? I would love to hear it from you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry this was a little long-winded, but um, there was a lot of, lot of movies to go through and to talk about. So hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be excellent to each other, and we will talk to you soon.